Hello everyone, Mr. is us making another video. A uh, video regarding no one else than public enemy number one. And why I'm making this video? I didn't want to make this video, to be honest, I, I wasn't even looking at it. But I got so much negative feedback on my small YouTube channel. Wow, I was like, what's going on? I'm like, in the twilight zone or something? And then guys, then, straight up, I thought, you know what, I, I'm not gonna make an a video i'm gonna wait for voice of reason in my eyes voice of reason is joe rogan you know i not like a massive fan of him but you know i like to hear his intake on certain stuff and the video go about him is farther down the line because strickland included joe rogan's video and he answered it back and this was the whole reason why i was like wait a second wait a minute something ain't right here like seriously something is terribly wrong so yes, people, before we jump into this so-called media narrative, I like to say it, it's media narrative, I just want to remind you that I am still in university and I'm part of this university project where we kind of created these flip-flops and it goes with name tag, flip-flop mafia. Easy to spot, hard to miss because you will never gonna lose them. Well, I hope not. So yeah, guys, if you need new flip-flops, as the summer is coming up to go to the beach or just go to swimming here's your solution get this one now uh, and help a human being out that's me <laughs> so yeah guys buy them now the link is in description and let's jump on to our subject of Joe Rogan and uh, well his take on what actually happened if I know that I can fuck you up and I fuck you up, I'm probably a bad person. It's never good that a guy who is some trained killer goes after some regular guy, picks a fight with him and fucks him up. It's never thought of as good. It's always negative, like almost entirely negative, like the entire fan base will recognize that terrible behavior. It bothers them. So yes, people, they're twisting around of facts what actually happened because no one was saying Sneeko he needs to get in there he knew he can be in for hard sparring he said he knew how Strickland gonna spar him just don't do it people go from the streets into the gyms to challenge coaches all the time they do stupid stuff I mean Sneeko literally went in there with a guy he knew he gonna get his ass whooped and he can be like well you are UFC champion like what uh, he's one 6'1", about 185 pounds, something like that. He, that's decent, dude. That's like light heavyweight in boxing terms. And he decided to go for it. And Joe Rogan is now throwing him down. And you're going to see this thing happening all the time. It's negative. The fans are using this negative. No, they are not. You cannot say that. They are trying to kind of gently pushing him down the slope, saying like, it's not me, but you are just looking bad. Remember guys when um, Charlie, what was his name, Charlie was spotting uh, Zelnov was spotting like uh, Wilder, I mean spotting, I mean Wilder just bash him up and no one was saying anything. When Conor McGregor was going uh, completely nuts and he smashed up the, the bus, uh, people were saying something, he got arrested, but there was no such a massive backlash. So that's what I'm saying, someone is becoming public enemy number one. So yeah, guys, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the, one of the worst actings ever or movie scenes. Let's let's take a look I at this. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Uh, sorry, guys. I thought that's uh, that's the video clip with Rampage Jackson and Sneaker. Oh, okay. Here it is. I didn't like I'm what he sorry. did. That was wrong. Fighters, we, we we know you're not supposed to do that shit. Yeah, that was wrong. But you the man though. You you didn't give up. Didn't get knocked down. Yeah. Didn't get knocked down. Yeah, one of those slams, I think it would have been a different story. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I knew what I expected. I, I, he is known for spying like that. But. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know much about him. I, I just, um, I just learned who he was when he started talking a lot of shit on the, on the internet. I was like, damn, when did they go, when they go cancel this white boy? But yeah, yeah. It, 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 it never yet. happened. Yeah, I haven't yet. But I, I like him. But he's like, funny. Yeah, but I, I don't like that he did that. The next time you spar, you better kick his ass. So yes, guys, straight out from the room quality videos, um, <laughs> it is what it is. Rampage is looking left, right and center, trying to read the teleprompter, you know, weak eyesight. I'm quite sure he has something like that. Um, 
did that look like a normal conversation guys if you look at the full video he's just looking left and right man he's looking oh what do i need to say you know all these people they are saying exactly the same thing it's not me you just make us look bad i don't have direct beef with you okay <laughs> i mean look at this jake paul he's talking about fighting inexperienced opponents inexperienced this is his record debut 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 he fought four people for first time then he fought who is tyron woodley who he fought before man and jake paul is calling strickland out for picking fights the fights which he didn't want to actually do yeah, sneeko could not if he wanted he could choose not to get in the ring he knew the consequences of his actions okay and remember Nate Diaz he said the same thing oh I have no like personal beef but I don't think it was cool what Strickland did again same thing same thing they're kind of pushing the blame on Strickland and at the same time they don't want to directly say anything to him they don't want to confront him on direct basis and I'm gonna tell you guys why because the UFC world is very small the fight game is very small there's that many fighters and you know what Strickland he fights hard he spars hard and people don't wanna upset people who spars hard because you have a good chance that you're gonna be sparring you have a good chance you're gonna run into your into the person you're having beef on the UFC convention or in gym or just rolling around and this is the thing guys like Joe Rogan you know he said it himself that Mike Tyson was uh, the presence just of Mike Tyson has was so intimidating on him he get a bigger table I'm telling you guys these things do happen in the gyms people are scared of people who spar hard it's it's there usually people who spar hard they usually do like one or two rounds with other people who work on technique or who more like on defense and then they move sparring each other they get kind of put in the groups with each other so they don't really spar the people because uh, people don't like that and Strickland is not a small guy and this is the reason I'm telling you guys this is the reason no one is picking the direct beef with him because there is possibility of consequences and <laughs> in the past what does it show it shows Strickland that he's ready to go anywhere anywhere any place <laughs> yeah and no one wants to get their ass beaten okay so there is some kind of media bias guys and I'm telling you Sean Strickland is definitely turning in public enemy number one because lots of people are resonating what he's saying lots of people do like his opinions not all of them but quite few so <laughs> it's 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 a bit funny that like lots of other people are got away with the same thing as Strickland has done now and nothing has happened but now the media is just jumping onto him I mean this is how I see it you may see it differently I mean leave your thoughts below leave your comments and I'm sure I'm gonna need to make another video very soon how this is just working out <laughs> so yeah guys have a good one follow my channel leave a comment get yourself a flip-flop until next time Mr. Zas out